What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have an extremely special episode for you today. Some of my favorite food and especially one that I grew up eating. And it's uh, Chinese style uh, barbecued meats on rice. Uh, it's from a place called HK Barbecue Master. So if you're in the Van area, it's in Richmond. Please go visit it. I love the food. And starting from the left, we have siung up, which is a roasted duck, siao gai, which is uh, soy sauce chicken, cha siu, barbecue pork, and su yo, roasted pork. And then the last thing here I have to drink is called dong uh, leng cha, which is iced lemon tea. And it's a classic Hong Kong style iced lemon tea. Let's get into it. All right, you already know, we always gotta start with the drink first. So let's get into the dong leng cha, AKA iced lemon tea. The straw. Push up the lemon a bit first. Probably doesn't sound too nice on your guys' end, but stir it. Let's get a sip of this first. Dong Ling Ta. Such a classic taste. The reason why I prefer this over other iced teas is because. It's really not overly sweet. As y'all know, I love that. And uh, you can really taste the tea a lot more in this one. And the, the fresh lemon is actually a really nice touch as well. But enough about that. Let's get into the meats, which uh, whew, I'm excited for. <laughs> Chopsticks. And let's start with the siu aka roasted pork. The top has this crispy, crackling skin and some tender roasted pork on the bottom. Here's what it looks like. We can get a first bite of this going. Mm. Spoon, with some rice. Gotta have this with rice. Mm. I would very highly encourage you to get out and try some Chinese style barbecue meats or Hong Kong style barbecue meats because this is probably some of the best food you'll ever have. No cap, like I promise you. All right, first bite of the cha siu. This looks like. It has like a super nice sweet glaze on it. But a good thing about the place that I get it from is that you can customize the amount of fat you have on the cha siu too, which is... Oh. <laughs> There's certain points on the cha siu that's slightly, like it's sweet and it's slightly caramelized. So that in combination with the a little bit more salty, savory meat is so good. Rice. Now for the siyo gai, which is soy sauce chicken. And on this one, it's particularly special here. I'll go with this piece because they have this um, green onion and ginger oil on top of it that they put on it usually. Here's what it looks like. Flavor is always so amazing. And you'll never get a dry piece of meat at this place, I guarantee you. Mm. Mm. So the funny story about this place is it's actually been around for quite a while. I think around like 20 years or so. And I used to go when I was younger with my parents all the time. And now that I'm a little bit older, the people that founded slash owned this place, they pass it on to their son. And now I'm actually like acquainted with the son. We're friends now too. So it's like full circle and 
the quality is just always just gone up. It's amazing what they do here. This is the siung up, which is the roasted duck here. The juicy skin, this nice tender duck meat. Mm. All right, now that we've um, gotten into each one, I'm gonna have some of the broccoli, which always comes with the meal. You gotta eat your greens, you know what I'm saying? So it looks like just some, you know, regular boiled slash steamed broccoli. Mm. Let me know how you like your veggies. Um, are you the cook the veggie till it's super limp type of person, or you like to eat it with a little bit of crunch still? I'm a little bit of a crunch still guy. Chasu. Nice spoon. Oh. So the chasu. Nice spoonful of rice. Mmm. For this video, I decided to um, <clears throat> talk a little more, give a little contrast to the last video which if you've been keeping up with my content, you'll know the last one was ASMR. I kind of want you guys or y'all to get to know me. So just talking a bit more. <clears throat> See you, y'all. Mm. That crispy skin on top. Oh my gosh, insane. If you have the chance to visit this place, again, it's called HK Barbecue Master, located in Richmond. Highly, highly, highly recommend you eat in store too for the first time. So you get that super fresh, super juicy meat on rice. <laughs> Don't wait, huh? It's funny because I never actually grew up speaking Chinese or like Mandarin or Cantonese for that matter. And I, I asked my parents before, like, why, why'd you never teach me? And they're just like, you're way too stubborn. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> respect. But I always, um, I'm gonna take a bite first. Mm. Mm. So because of that, I'd always felt an insanely big cultural disconnect. Growing up, like so many of my friends were Chinese. I often celebrate like every holiday. I eat Chinese food like every day. I live a very Chinese lifestyle, but wasn't able to do something simple like go to a restaurant like this and order in my own mother tongue. So actually, I decided to take a full year of Mandarin back in my first year of university, which gave me a good foundation and actually now have been doing private tutoring for over a year now. So it's been good. Um, and um, so fun. Hmm. That's a little bit, I'll speak for you guys on camera, but I'll keep it English for the rest of it. Mm. I just like, I can't stop moving. I feel so good eating this. It's like, trust me, it's not so good just because it's nostalgic. It's like literally guarantee you anyone you bring to eat it or if it's your first time and it's a good place for chinese barbecue you'll fall in love 
Mm. In the beginning, when I was saying the types of meat, <clears throat> saying it in Cantonese, by the way, because this is a Hong Kong style Chinese barbecue. Let me know in the comments what languages you speak, if you speak any other than English, and if you've had a similar experience to me. At my age, not that I'm super old or anything, but I feel like people, let's say when they get into their late teens or 20s and over, don't really tend to um, try and learn a new language. I feel like it's pretty uncommon, so. But I, I love learning languages. Mm. Took Spanish in high school, really enjoyed that. A plus student every year, every year. You already know the deal. Same for first year Mando, so. You know what I'm saying? But, well, let me know and, um, Maybe even comment in your own language too, if you speak another language, that'd be cool. Part of the reason why I'm so passionate about food is particularly because I love learning about other cultures. And I think one of the easiest ways to learn a lot about another culture is through their food or cuisine. Um, another one of my uh, passions is uh, fashion or clothing. If you don't know, I have my own clothing brand as well. Check it down in the description below if you wanna check that out. Quick little self plug, but um, I think through fashion or clothing and um, cuisine, two great ways to learn about another culture and their history too. Yeah, super cool. I keep hyping this restaurant up, but I haven't really fully explained to you why their stuff is so good. So first of all, all their staff and cooks, I guess, are extremely experienced, whether it's actually preparing and cooking the meat or even serving the food, like so amazing. And um, they import all their ingredients directly from where they are uh, originally from in China. And they will source their ingredients from different regions in China based on the season it is. Because I'm sure, as most of you all know, um, the different seasons that we all experience impact the growth rate of uh, certain vegetables and grains, as well as herbs. And even for livestock, the, the weather will impact um, the meat quality, the, fat to uh, meat ratio, et cetera, et cetera. So, so amazing. And the attention to detail while they cook and prep their um, meats as well as other food. Mm. Insane. Mm. Look at how amazing this sea al guy looks. AKA soy sauce chicken. Mm. <clears throat> Skin is like golden brown. The seasoning, flavors, everything is on point. Shout out to my boy Anton. He's the one that I'm running the place now. We move. <clears throat> I love Chinese barbecue, but I've never had like really authentic, like Southern style barbecue, Texas or whoever has good American barbecue. I've actually never had really good authentic ones. Maybe like, not that the places here don't have good stuff, at least I think, but 
because I don't have a comparison to really authentic one, I don't know. Um, and the videos look insane, so I gotta try it soon because I tried Chinese. I've had barbecue from so many other different places in the world, but never Southern, is it Southern? Never like Texas style bar barbecue. So let me know if you've had it. Let me know if you have any recommendations to try for my first quote unquote authentic time. Mm. Gotta eat all the rice, yo. I was always taught. Finish your food. If you don't want it, just pack it away, yo. Eat it later. Mm. Mm. I'm sure a decent amount of you know this already because I've mentioned it in other videos, but I'm from Vancouver in Canada. And um, I wanted to ask if anyone is from here and is a local, um, let me know if there's a place I just haven't tried that does authentic um, like Southern style or USA barbecue. Because like I said, I haven't tried it. I'd love to go, so let me know in the comments. Um, and also, like, shout out to all my Vancouverites. Let me know if you're watching from here down in the comments below, too. Mm. Last few bites here. I'm actually really curious to know because I want to provide y'all with some amazing variety and content. I know I say this a lot, but if there's anything else y'all want to see me eat, please let me know. Cause you know, as of now I've done you know, all Asian food. So if you want me to just try like, I don't know, for example, more Western foods, just like pasta or burgers, pizza. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I'm always happy to eat Asian food because, bro, look at me. <laughs> food is actually bussing. Oh, this stuff is bussing. Mm. I'm being dead serious, literally not an ounce of dryness in any of the pieces of meat. So good. Mm. Let's go. Again, I scarf that down pretty fast, but hard not to when you're eating the goat of HK style barbecue, Hong Kong barbecue master and to top it off. You already know we got the hella refreshing Dong Ling Cha. Oh, bang! Alright, I'll get cleaned up here and I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alright everyone, thanks so much again for tuning in to this week's latest video. I've been having so much fun filming this type of like content with a different variety. And if you've been enjoying it, I would really appreciate it if you shared this video, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. It would mean the most to me if you shared it with all your friends and family so that we can grow this channel together because I love doing this and I love y'all so much. So thank you again. And as usual, don't forget to like and comment down below something that you liked about the video. The next video is gonna be one that hits super close to home to me. So I'm really excited and I'll catch y'all on that one. Peace.